Hello folks, welcome back to MTG AI Tournaments. We are back. I know it's been a couple days since we've uploaded the video, but we're going right back to the grind for the Pioneer AI vs. AI Tournament. We have Green Devotion today versus Orzov Saram. Green Devotion, um, as you can tell, this is the round two. So we got um, these decks already have a win each. Uh, let's go a quick little scroll through the decks right now. Then we'll jump into the game. Okay, it looks like we have a 5 to 2 ratio for our Orzhov Saram deck. And we have a 3 to 4 ratio for our, our Green Devotion deck. So it looks like we're going to have Saram taking the first turn. Drop in a Plains, no creature though. Which usually Aura decks want to do on turn 1. We do have a creature for turn 1 for the Green Devotion deck. and drop down the Elvish Mystic. The rent to 3 mana next turn. Playing down at Tap Gala Shrine, because why would we ever play one untapped? Says the AI. Uh, three minutes now, we're going to play a Saram, and we're going to get a Cartouche of Solidarity to Saram, creating a 1 1 Warrior Token with Vigilance. Elvish Mystic, um, well, Marine Devotion, more like. It's going to untap, play a Nykthos Shrine to Nyx, and I believe it's going to play a Karn the Great Creator. As you can see, we got some tokens now. I believe he did the plus one to give something. Well, nothing really. There's no artifact, so he couldn't really do that, I don't think. Uh, we're enchanting our token to make another token, and we're enchanting another token. <laughs> so some big enchants here. I would have played that all the glitters on a different creature. It looks like we are taking out... Karn to one, passing the turn back to Green Devotion. Let's just storm the festivals here. Karn is gonna plus one, which isn't gonna do much. Green Devotion is having a slow start with no creatures, which is not a good sign when you're facing an Aura's deck that's attacking with a bunch of them and huge ones at that. Not really a bunch, but more of huge creatures. Um, but in this case, there seems to be four, so. Maybe a little bit of a quantity there. Green Devotion, a bunch of Karns in hand. Um, not exactly what we want right now when this Orzov deck is going to take out Karn yet again and deal a bunch of damage to the face of Green Devotion. Kiora is not going to be enough. Um, looks like we got a plus two plus two on our all that glitters warrior token which I believe that could have been lethal to the face if it all went but is what it is definitely at this point uh, yeah so again sequencing is not really the thing AI does best so now we got a love struck beast finally coming in another Karn on tapping that Nyklos but it's not gonna be enough I don't believe four <laughs> this deck, yeah, as we got a flying 17 16 creature here, which is now a 19 18, which is now a 21 20, 23 22, 25 24. Geez, <laughs> we're just negative, you know, 15 there. So that's that's gonna go to game one. Uh, game one's gonna go to the Orzov Saram enchantment deck. Now looking at the next game here, we have a little bit more of a creature hand here for our Green Devotion deck. We got a two to uh, five ratio and a three to three or three to four ratio for our um, Orzhov deck. But they do have starting creatures along with an enchantment that's pretty good. So I'm gonna jump right into this Forest and Oath of Nissa, I believe, or Heart's Desire. That is a thing you can also play. Uh, yes. Hateful Eidolon is going to drop down onto the battlefield. As you can tell, Concealed Courtyard seems to be the superior uh, untapped land for the AI deck, even though Shocklands are better in some ways. So they can always come in untapped. Even though they cost life. But they don't seem to do that with the with that deck. I believe the Hydra is going to get in along with the uh, token. 
I'll see the Life's Bounty. A bunch of uh, enchantment creatures which are enchant uh, are, are count as enchantments for the all that glitters. So a hate vital one's gonna get in for a lot of damage here, and I don't think there's really much. Yeah, especially with that play, I don't think there's really much that the green deck's gonna be able to do. In this turn, we're getting another ethereal armor, possibly. Yes, um, I believe though something just happened. Uh, not exactly sure. Maybe they just switched over. It's like all that glitter is went away. So, might have been a removal spell. Not exactly sure. I completely missed that. It's probably really obvious <laughs> what happens, but you know. Passing the turn back to the green devotion deck, we're gonna get a. Um, hopefully just a bunch of creatures there to, you know, <laughs> just to have some untapped creatures to block with, but I don't think it's going to be enough. As we're going to get a Saram, no attacks though, as there is a 5-6 Cavalier, so this, this could come back, but I think 32-5 to five on the life total, um, it's going to make it pretty hard for the green deck to kind of bash in there, especially with a bunch of huge blockers with enchantments. Now that that's getting even flying with Angelic Gift, yeah, it's going to end the... Well, there is Reach, actually, on Cavalier of Thorns, so I am incorrect there. I'll make this a little bit larger. Cavalier of Thorns is going to put a creature from the graveyard on top of the library, I believe. Uh, let's see. Love Shirt Beast. And sorry, I'll try not to look at the main deck that much. That kind of gives some spoilers away, but uh, in that case. But yeah, this time they don't have any creatures with reach flying in here. It's going to be too much. And that looks like the Orzhov Serene deck has taken the victory. I'll see you guys next time.